hi, this is David, uh, Richter Scale Studios, uh, doing a little studio update. It's been a long, long time. Um, the Ultramarine uh, Speeder Scouts are still not done. They're still in a box. Almost there. But I've been distracted. I got the Necromunda and Shadow War Armageddon. And my 3D printing has been getting prolific. You see I have two printers here. And then, um, excuse the motion, going through my studio and game room. Uh, my original printer, I've done videos a long time ago, it's probably over three years old now, is my printer bot Metal Plus is down for the count, uh, looking to get another uh, extruder motor installed and put back together and cleaned up and get it going again. But it's three years old now, so it's actually kind of archaic. <laughs> but um, I am printing uh, Andrew Askedal's, uh War Layer Kickstarter STL files, which are uh, uh, train models that you can print. And on my Corality CR10, this was down for a little bit. I just modded it heavily. So it's running amazingly. It's just like uh, supercharged now. Uh, this looks like nothing like a standard CR10 if you look them up. Uh, this is from Andrew's first Kickstarter war layer. This is a uh, container, like a cargo container. And you can see one uh, uh, finished right there. I did that one last night with a... Uh, House of Escher, and then there's uh, an or not Orlock. Um, I can't remember the name of that model. Uh, the other side of Underhive. Wow, I can't. I'm uh, not in a lot of sleep. I've been printing all night, and that is one of um, Andrew's new models from his Kickstarter War Layer Two, and this is the pipe layer system. As you see, it's amazing stuff. This is all modular, and on the Anycubic. I'm uh, running some different filament. That is a Solutot uh, Silver. That is Isun Gray, what I think is one of my new favorite filaments. It almost looks like it came off a sprue. And it's very matte compared to this, but this is still nice. You can just throw some uh, wash on this and you're done, basically. Maybe uh, sponge it up with some rust and it's really down and dirty to get that on the table. But I just love that matte gray look. And I'm using some um, up some Maker Geek Army Green, and this is another uh, group of pipes I'm doing. Uh, this is going to have a section that stacks on top of, it'll have this on, this on, be on top of another stack of pipes. Really cool system that Andrew uh, designed. It's all very modular and clicks together. Um, I'll show some other stuff uh, later on, because I haven't been on YouTube in a long time, or done any videos for Facebook or anything in ages. So uh, most of my posts for my hobby stuff is on my uh Richter Scale Studios Facebook artist page. So you can always uh, like that and get updates and check out my work. Um, I usually put up a couple things a week at least. And uh, that is it. Um, I will show a picture right now of uh, the Necromunda and Shadow War board I've been working on. Uh, one of my intro videos shows like this kind of industrial board I did like six years ago. And it's been rehashed into this uh, Necromunda board. It's kind of black and rusty and uh, still a work in progress. And you'll notice all the models on there, probably 80, 90% of them are a war layer. There's a couple other smaller companies like Terrain for Print and Printable Scenery. And then obviously you'll notice um, the Games Workshop Shadow War uh, Sector Mechanicus um, terrains there in the back. And you can see that crane by Andrew. That was one of the... Um, Kickstarter stretch goals uh, on the first uh, war layer. You can buy all those on warlayer.com. Um, I think you can buy them, the STLs, and I believe there's a link that you can have someone print them for you too. I'm not into that. I just print for myself and do my little painting. You'll see some of the stuff on that board all painted up and, um, you know, back to my hobby roots with the airbrush and that type of thing. So uh, that is it for now. Uh, thank you for joining me. Sorry I've been. Uh, MIA for a while, but I've been still working on the hobby stuff in the background and real life always gets in the way. I make that excuse all the time. And you'll notice I have like hundreds of videos. I'll go for months without doing one then all of a sudden put up uh, four or five in a week. So once again, thanks for joining me and see you soon.